agency partner is Ramsa. Who is your model? John Iverson. He's a basketball player. He's been in Kobe. Tom Cruise. Why? She's lazy like me, and she just eats and sleeps all day. That's my dog. I have a role model. This is my mother. Bye. Bye, babe. Oh, it's great. I'm so honored. I'm great. Inspiration for me. A great role model. I'm in a way glad that his impact. We see a problem here, do you? One after the other, these young adults name the figures that came to mind when asked who inspired them. They chose pets over professors and TV stars over teachers, but not as many real life positive role models as one would like to hear. Every day in America, an African American child goes to school never questioning the lack of leaders that echo him. Every day in America, a Hispanic teen chooses to sit at home rather than sitting in a classroom. Every day in America, teacher diversity dwindles as student diversity rises. Every day in America, students veer towards the wrong directions due to the lack of guidance before them. Hey Jasmine, what's the percentage of African American juvenile arrests? 26%. Serene, how much more likely are Hispanics youth, Hispanic youths to get arrested than white youths? 16%. Hey Katie, do you know people of color represent 45% of the grades K through 12 population? Really? What's the percentage of teachers of color? Only 17%. These adolescents are clearly underrepresented in education. As you can see, the racial proportion between teachers and students is severely unbalanced. How are they going to see themselves in leadership positions when they can't even see themselves in front of a classroom? The scarcity of role models creates a gateway for reckless decision, and this leads and and how do we change this? We have to open college students' eyes to the possibility of, ch of teaching by changing the negative perception of the profession and the racial imbalance in education. The answer is you, because millennials have the power to mold the world into what it's meant to be. Change doesn't come easily, but it sure as hell becomes more real when you're the one creating it. As an educator, mentor, leader, role model. You'd plant the seeds of education and reap the fruits of revolution. By becoming the mentor to those who don't have one, you'd pave the road for their future. Alvin Davis, some people think that teachers only teach for summers off or because of the 57,000 annual, um, annual salary, but Alvin Davis is another case. Alvin Davis is a prime example. Despite working at one of the worst schools in Florida, he worked with his kids personally and academically to make sure that every single one of his students graduated for the past four years. And another example is Helena Mosjack. Now she was also a role model in her community and she, and she was a role model for her students when, no, when she, they had no one else. We want the future teachers of America to be this passionate. Both of our target audiences spend a significant amount of time on their smartphones, which led us to use social platforms for our marketing campaigns. African Americans have a strong relationship with their surrounding communities. They're <coughs> driven and they're motivated. Despite that, only 33% end up going to college. What? Hispanics have a big family-oriented lifestyle. Y mis hispanos saben que no hay nada más importante que la familia. This 
leads to a lot of pressure from family and themselves to rise in status. But similarly to African Americans, they have a low college attendance rate of only 35%. With that said, how can we persuade the generation to teach by leading? Well, all changes start small. Like dominoes, one person will react to the other. So how exactly do we change that? Firstly, we have to get in touch with the people. How? Well, what do the people like? Well, many people enjoy expressing their individual creativity on public walls, as shown here. And fellow adolescents feel connections to messages portrayed on such platforms. So, not, so why not connect with them ourselves? Murals will help extend the message towards those with visual tastes, as well as those considering college. But it, it doesn't just have to stay there. We decided to collaborate with Hot 97 to create a music event that will celebrate teachers and their commitment to their communities. While they're performing, artists can share their own personal experiences of teachers while they're singing. Nicki Minaj, a popular musical icon and social activist, will headline this event. She oftentimes advocates education and will target our demographic, as well as Rihanna, who recently became global ambassador for education. Musical playlists will portray the revolution of human rights and will show how education has, has changed, um, has supported the causes. If millennials want to change the world, they'll realize that it starts with education. We also know that people these days are on their phones and we know for a fact that educators rely on their mobile e electronic devices on their day-to-day -day jobs. African Americans spend an average of 4.2 hours on their social media, on their phones, while Hispanics spend an average of 4.7. Because these groups communicate with their mobile devices the most, it would make sense to showcase specifically personalized ads towards those communities via methods of social media platforms such as Facebook. Large-scale billboards will be placed near college campuses to promote and attract their demographic and to motivate them to go on teach.org and learn more. Another platform is popular magazines, coffee sleeves, and promotional pins. Now, coffee sleeves can work as a mobile billboard as college students will walk around with the Teach logo on their cups, especially in Starbucks when they have a, a promotional social responsibility and as well that college students just love coffee. We decided to partner with, offer, with Apple because of their previous education initiative. Red Bull follows this by continuously encouraging students to persist and endure through their lives. Warby Parker was literally founded with a rebellious spirit. And what better advocate for change than a company whose roots are planted in the belief that change is vital? Our goal is to disrupt the negative perception of teaching and to promote African Americans and Hispanics to pursue a career in education. If you want this number to increase, our integrated marketing campaign will meet your goal. Today, you'll see a lot of presentations that are positive and bubbly, but don't show the reality of society. The cause of action to change society is not to go out and protest, it's to, be, it's to make students become teachers. Promoting millennials to become teachers is a form of social activism that cannot be ignored. They will become teachers to be the engines of this movement. 70-year-olds in Congress are not going to change society. Millennials are the change, and they will want to be part of that change. Thank you.